you're watching America's healthiest TV show, Health Corner, with host Joan London, plus Chef MD Dr. John LaPuma, and Fitness with Kathy Smith. Today on Health Corner. As that girl, Marlo Thomas became one of America's sweethearts. Today she offers promise and hope for children with cancer. Plus, he's alive because of an unconventional approach to kidney transplants. From the banks of the ancient Nile to the southern bayou, it's a Louisiana favorite. Today on Chef MD. Health Corner is a sponsored program brought to you by Walgreens, the pharmacy America trusts since 1901. Hi, I'm Joan London. Welcome to Health Corner, America's healthiest TV show. We're dedicating this month to women's health. Create a legacy of wellness by taking care of yourself. We'll talk about some important health screenings for women all later in the show. But first, Marlo Thomas, she is carrying on her father, Danny Thomas's remarkable promise at St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, where kids with all types of cancer have a better chance than ever before to find their cure. And here's Health Corner correspondent Sarah Welch with that story. What cancer cannot do. This family scrapbook so documents the remarkable journey. It cannot silence courage. It of a little girl named Kyla. It cannot conquer the spirit. The poem and pictures a testament to her strong will and courage. She's my little miracle. She never ceases to amaze me. I love you, baby. I love you. You'd never know it by looking at her, but just before her second birthday, Kyla was diagnosed with a life-threatening brain tumor. I was just scared. I thought it was so unfair. I just got this beautiful little girl, everything I ever wanted. To stop the tumor from spreading, Kyla underwent emergency surgery. The doctor said that everything in her brain looks well, but there still is that small piece. It was about this big, the top of your um, pinky. When doctors recommended chemo, Kyla's mom wanted a second opinion. She found it at St. Jude in Memphis, where doctors believed another surgery was Kyla's best chance for survival. So when I look at her, I just see more than hope. I just see gifts. St. Jude is a gift. It's a place where doctors send some of the sickest patients in toughest cancer cases. Here we go. The hospital was founded by the late entertainer Danny Thomas. His daughter Marlo carries on her dad's wish to help children fighting catastrophic diseases. My father did an amazing thing by having the vision to create such a place where nobody would be turned away if they couldn't pay, where every child would get the same first class care, where we collaborate with the medical community worldwide and give away our breakthroughs free to all the other communities, all the other hospitals. All of that's happening at St. Jude. For Kyla's family, St. Jude is like a second home. This hospital took us in open arms. They're our family. St. Jude has been a second home for thousands of children, just like Kyla. When the hospital first opened nearly 50 years ago, the survival rate for the most common form of cancer was just 4%. Today, 94% of children are surviving this cancer thanks to groundbreaking research and treatment at St. Jude. Now these children, I see them a year later and they've made it. They're going home. There is nothing more exciting than that. And no child is ever turned away. Treatment is free. It costs close to a million and a half dollars a day to run St. Jude. Most of that money comes from donations and almost all of it is spent directly on children's care. Happy birthday to you. Kyla has reason to be joyful. Her prognosis is good. I even still secretly sneak in her room and like just like snuggling with her and just thank God every day for her. It was a party for her. Love fills the pages of Kyla's scrapbook. Her parents have seen their baby grow into a vibrant little girl. And for that, Kyla says, Thank you, thank you. For Health Corner, I'm Sarah Welch. St. Jude treats an average of more than 200 patients every day. To learn more, go to our website, healthcornertv.com. All right, paper or plastic or something else, our kids reporters are on that case. Girls? Hi, Joan. Oh, here comes Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Are you ready to play Let's Make a Green Deal? Sure, I'm game. All you have to do to win what's in this beautiful box is answer the following question. Which of the following is best for the environment? A, plastic, B, paper, or C, BYOB? BYOB, what's that? 
Why, bring your own bag, of course. Oh, obviously the answer is C. Bring your own bag. Congratulations, Miss Pell. You've just won a brand new reusable tote. Very funny, Gabby, but also very practical. Did you know that one trillion plastic bags are used worldwide every year? And that's bad because they're not biodegradable. Paper bags are even worse. They create 70 times more air pollution and 50 times more water pollution than plastic bags do. And they take up more space in the landfill. Who knew? Well, now you do. For Go Green, I'm Michaela Powell. And I'm Gabby Powell. See you next time. This portion of Health Corner is brought to you by the makers of Zyrtec. Love the air. All right, coming up, your whole body benefits from lifting weights from your bones to your blood sugar. Kathy Smith shows us some key moves, so stay with us. Health Corner will be right back. Bicycle, I've missed you. Gathering dust as flowers bloom and pollen floats through the air, while I, sneezing itching eyes, looked for safer havens in the air conditioning. But now with the strength of 24-hour Zyrtec to relieve my worst allergy symptoms, indoors and outdoors, I'll wipe off the dust that gathered these long months. Use Zyrtec, which starts working two hours faster than Claritin. And promise not to wait as long to go for our ride. Because with Zyrtec, I can love the air. It's beautiful. It sits in your bathroom like a faceted jewel. It makes you happy, but it will never make you any younger. This is not as alluring, but use Neutrogena Anti-Wrinkle Moisture for just four weeks and its clinically proven retinol SA formula will smooth even the deepest wrinkles. So choose, beautiful in the jar or in the mirror. Neutrogena Ageless Intensives, results are beautiful. Hey, there's no room in here. Why don't you develop a photo once in a while? You gotta be kidding me. Uh oh, somebody's gonna get deleted. Oh no. Not me. I got deleted last time. If only your memory card always had space for those great new photos. Fortunately, you can put your photos on Walgreens.com and have prints ready for friends and family to pick up at multiple Walgreens nationwide, usually within an hour. How to improve your marriage with a calendar. Clever. Very clever. How to fight cancer with a calendar. Set a date and stick to your decision. It's a lot easier when you have help. The American Cancer Society can double your chances of quitting for good. Call or visit us online. This is the American Cancer Society. Welcome back to Health Corner. This week, our very own Chef MD, Dr. John LaPuma, physician, chef, and best-selling author, explores the tasty health benefits of a vegetable that's been around over 3,500 years. Dr. John? Do you know what this is? If you're from the South, you probably do. It's okra, a staple in Southern cooking. But okra isn't originally from the Southern states. It was discovered over 3,500 years ago on the banks of the Nile in Egypt. It was a favorite of the pharaohs. Still is, apparently. Okra actually means gumbo in Swahili, and it's the food as medicine ingredient in my Louisiana-style gumbo I'm gonna make for you today. Okra is loaded with insoluble fiber, and it makes my Chef and approved spicy Creole gumbo with shrimp and brown rice authentic, healthful, and really tasty. See you in the kitchen. Mmm, and if you would like to get a free weekly Chef MD recipe email, simply visit healthcornertv.com and sign up. You know, many of us take driving for granted, but as you get older, it's a gift that you really start to appreciate. It means your independence and your freedom. But we visited a technically advanced driving school that allows seniors to test whether they should stay on the road or give up those keys. I'm Maria Wojcik, co-owner of Driving MBA. What we do for the senior program is we'll do visual acuity, um, peripheral vision testing, we'll, uh, cognitive skills um, on this, this simulator. And then we have a, another simulator that we're testing, primarily reaction time. You did very, very well. My name is John Kwiatkowski, and I came to Driving MBA to get my driving skills assessed. I think I'm good, like everybody does, but I'd like to get a different opinion of somebody professional to 
to see my strengths and weaknesses. Particularly on the simulator, um, when they crash and they see that their reaction time is not what it used to be, um, it, starts to, it starts to get them thinking. My weaknesses were just not being mentally prepared, and that was the big eye-opener that when I was younger I was probably doing that, but as I got older, <laughs> You know, you just kind of forget this type of stuff. For a senior, if you think about it, it's their freedom. And so coming here and seeing that perhaps um, their driving isn't what it used to be, would be it's tough. It's a tough decision for anybody to make. Listen to this. Night driving can be especially challenging as we age. By the time you're 60, you need three times the light as when you're 20. Hmm. All right, next, he struggled with weight most of his life. Now he's still known as Big Bill, but now it's for the size of his determination and his love of life, not for his waistline. Health Corner correspondent Julie Feldman has the inspiring success story. He's known as Big Bill. My heaviest that I actually saw was 480 pounds. But he's not as big as he used to be. Bill Lundquist lost 245 pounds the old-fashioned way, eating healthy and exercise. Flipping through TV channels, Bill discovered Health Corner, Dr. John LaPuma, and Dr. John's Chef MD recipes. They have been a big key to my losing weight and the last few years keeping it off. Bill and his friend Bonnie now experiment with new flavors and foods, and the results are terrific. My that's, that's blood values like have here. improved tremendously. My mm -hmm. cholesterol went from 252 down to 135. Sometimes numbers do tell a story. There are 348 calories in one serving of this Chef MD approved dish that Bonnie and Bill just made. That's about one sixth of the calories Bill would have consumed back in his much bigger days of four cheeseburger lunches. These are what I call my fat pants. These are 6X, and that is the biggest I could find at the time. And Limitations I, consumed Bill's extra, extra large days. He couldn't do much more than take a drive or watch TV. I think he had used up everything that was there. The time for change was coming. Once Bill got the ball rolling, things changed dramatically. Bill now bikes and walks. He and Bonnie want to share their message. We're happy, healthy, enjoying life, which we may not have done if we weren't eating healthy. And they'll seal it with a kiss. <laughs> for Health Corner, I'm Julie Feldman. A big thanks to Big Bill for sharing that story, and we wish him continued success. If you have a story that you'd like to share, email us at healthcornertv.com. Okay, some of us know what a pain in the joint arthritis is. Millions of Americans deal with arthritis pain every day and they're looking for ways to prevent it. Here's the latest information from Walgreens pharmacist John Jenkins. Hi John. Hi Joan. There are several types of arthritis but they all have one thing in common, persistent joint pain. It can be in your hands, knees, wrists, practically anywhere. So what should people who have arthritis do to prevent or at least lessen the pain? One of the best things you can do is lose weight. It will take a lot of stress off your joints. Just one pound translates to four pounds worth of stress on your knees. Your diet is also important. Flaxseed oil, for example, seems to help reduce the frequency and severity of arthritis pain. Some supplements like glucosamine chondroitin can help reduce joint pain and restore cartilage. And certain pain relievers for arthritis come in bilayer caplets, specially formulated to provide fast relief with the first layer and extended release with the second layer. And of course, I've heard of some of the other things like carrying your grocery bags in your arms instead of the handles, uh, using your legs when you're lifting, and even with the light switch, using the palm of your hand instead of your fingers, right? Those are all good things, Joan. All right, well, thanks so much for your help, John. You're welcome, Joan. This portion of Health Corner is brought to you by the makers of Pepsid Complete, just one and heartburn's done. Lifting weights isn't just for bodybuilders. It's especially important for women's health. Here's fitness expert Kathy Smith. Hi, Kathy. Joan, when was the last time you tried to open a jar and gave up? When it comes to muscle mass, we all lose it, literally. By age 60, the average person will have lost one third of his or her muscle mass. Now the good news is you can reverse it. So here are five reasons why you need to start lifting now. Number one, you can't lose weight by sitting around. Or can you? A pound of muscle burns 35 to 50 calories a day just by sitting there on your body. A pound of fat? 
burns about three to five calories a day. Number two, bone mass starts to decline when we hit our 40s, but strength training maintains or even increases bone mass as we age. Number three, poor balance and lack of muscular strength can result in falls, fractures, even broken bones, but strength training exercises can increase flexibility and balance. Number four, heart disease is lower when the body is lean. Strength training helps you lose visceral fat, the most dangerous type of fat when it comes to cardiovascular health. And last, the best non-surgical remedy for back pain is strength training. You see, a strong core supports your lower back and protects you from injury. Now there's five good reasons to start building muscles right now. I'm Kathy Smith, and here's to your health. Looking for the secret to losing weight and keeping it off? Find out how at kathysmith.com. Thank you, Kathy. So Dr. John, what do you have for us today? This versatile veggie, Joan, helps make a Bayou specialty a cholesterol-fighting success. I'll see you in the kitchen. Hi. Number two, please. Would you like that to hurt now or later? Uh, what? Sir, it's a simple question. Do you want heartburn pain now or later? These heartburn medicines make you choose between hurting now or later. Pepsid Complete doesn't. It starts to neutralize acid in seconds and keeps it under control all day or all night. Sometimes you gotta make compromises, man. No, you don't, man. Pepsid Complete works now and works later. Now with a great new taste. We're visiting Hidden Valleys across America to see how they like the taste of Kraft Ranch. You wanna try some Kraft Ranch? Nice approach, good form. Oh, he's mm. got all of that one. Mulligan, <laughs> that went in the water. I just want to see a nice shoulder turn and dip. Hi! Mm. See, a craft lover in Hidden Valley. Isn't that a two-stroke penalty? No, it isn't. You can love it. Arthritis targets your body where it's weak, where it's vulnerable. Tylenol arthritis works with your body to block the pain without interfering with certain high blood pressure medicines like Aleve sometimes can. So you don't just feel better, you feel better knowing doctors recommend Tylenol more than any other brand of pain reliever. Health Corner celebrates women's health all month long and we want to remind you of some of the vital health screenings that are really important to women. So, don't forget blood pressure tests, cholesterol checks, even a blood glucose test if your doctor recommends one. For early detection of cancers, mammograms and pap smears. To check for bone loss, a bone density test. And make sure you do a skin and breast self-exam once a month to look and feel for any changes. And of course, finally, don't forget the colonoscopy for early detection of colon cancer or precancerous growths. And as always, check with your doctor about when and with what frequency these tests should be performed and about what other tests might be important for you. So celebrate women's health with us. Learn more about the importance of prevention and wellness and more about these important screenings at our website, healthcornertv.com. A brand new approach to organ donation is saving lives, and patients are getting donors faster as a result. Here's Health Corner correspondent Elisa Adams with the remarkable story. After years of living with lupus, Larry Lunzer was used to feeling under par. But something was different two years ago when his kidneys started to fail. I tried to force myself to be as normal as possible. Um, before I went on dialysis, I, I was losing a lot of weight. Lunzer needed a kidney transplant. This would be his second. His sister donated a kidney to him years ago, and now that kidney was failing. Because of that previous transplant operation, Larry's body had developed a high level of antibodies. Because of his high antibody level, that would have made it very difficult for him to get transplanted on the waiting list. But with seven brothers and sisters, there was no shortage of volunteers willing to donate. My four brothers were willing to do the donor side. And Larry's brother Daniel thought he might get the call to donate. I just had a feeling it was going to be me this time. He was right, but the hospital didn't want him to donate to his brother. He wasn't a good match for Larry. 
they asked if he would be willing to donate to another man who needed a kidney. And in turn, that other man's wife would donate to Larry. The husband needed a kidney, I matched him. The wife was going to donate her kidney to Larry because she matched Larry. The donor swap or exchange doesn't have to be between just two sets of people. Donor chains have actually started at major hospitals across the country. Here's how it works. Say my husband, David, needs a kidney, but I'm not a match. Well, I can donate to this guy. And this guy's wife can then donate a kidney to this lady. And this lady's brother can then donate a kidney to my husband. There is a huge shortage of organs in transplantation, and a lot of people don't realize this, but even if they can't donate to uh, someone they, they know or love, they can, in fact, still help that person obtain a transplant. And that's where the donor exchange program comes into play. Dr. Brian Stevens and Dr. Lucille Renschel, a husband and wife surgical team of sorts at the Nebraska Medical Center, had done this before, but it's not easy. As far as when we do the donor exchange, it's a little bit of a logistical challenge. You have essentially four operating rooms uh, happening uh, sequentially. Hey, Larry. Hi, How, you doing? How are you doing? Good to see you, buddy. The operations, all four of them, went great. With the donors back on their feet in days. Recovery is typically on average three days in the hospital. And the recipients off dialysis and leading fairly normal lives just weeks after surgery. My life is more normal than I've, I've had it for a long time. I absolutely feel like a million bucks. The National Donor Exchange Program is fairly new, and Dr. Stevens says it is already providing organs for people who might not live through a long waiting process. Still, he cautions, living donors are carefully screened and never pressured. We will not let them donate if it's not in their best interest. It is a leap to go from donating to a loved one to donating to a stranger. But Daniel says he didn't hesitate. Because you can help two families then. I thought, geez, I can help these folks and, and help my brother too. The two families involved in the swap have never met, but they have a bond beyond the obvious physical links. And Larry is grateful his brother could see beyond family ties and help a stranger so that another stranger could help him. It's definitely a, a blessing. For Health Corner, I'm Elisa Adams. This portion of Health Corner is brought to you by 100 Calorie Packs. Chef MD, Dr. John LaPuma is whipping up something spicy and special today. Dr. John? Get ready to celebrate Mardi Gras style, Joan. I'm dishing out a Louisiana favorite packed with cancer-fighting fiber next on Chef MD. between soft chocolate cakes. They're goodies for grown-ups. I am stuck on Band-Aid Brand because germs don't stick on me. Only Band-Aid Brand plus antibiotic waterproof has antibiotic ointment directly on the pad. And now it's 100% waterproof. One-step infection protection from the brand you trust. Because Band-Aid helps you me. It's Neo to go. Ready, aim, protect. Neosporin gives you infection protection and pain relief. Neo to go plus pain relief. Every cut, every time, everywhere. Introducing Imodium Multi Symptom Relief. It combines two powerful medicines for fast relief of your diarrhea symptoms so you can get back out there. Imodium, get back out there. Remember when all your skin needed was a moisturizer to keep it looking young? New Neutrogena Ageless Essentials Continuous Hydration goes nine layers deep to reactivate skin's natural moisture. I knew a younger me there. Continuous Hydration, Neutrogena. Today, we're having fun with a Louisiana favorite. It's Mardi Gras any time of year when you make my spicy Creole gumbo with shrimp and brown rice. We start with a little okra which is our food as medicine ingredient. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Beautiful, seedy, and a little tiny bit gooey. This is okra that has already been 
frozen and thawed. And we're going to use some frozen okra to save some time, but you can use fresh okra when it's in season. We're going to start with what is known as the Cajun Trinity. A little bell pepper, a little celery, and a little white onion, and add some Creole seasoning to it. Creole seasoning here is just a little salt, red pepper, and garlic. Let's get it started. Add a little extra light olive oil to the pan, and then we add our vegetables. And this is a flavor secret. We're gonna add our seasoning while they're sauteing, so it brings out extra flavor. Perfect, those are gonna soften. Next, add some wonderful red beans. Right in, together with chicken stock from a box. The red beans are from a can, which is perfectly acceptable as long as the can is BPA free. No lead in the can or toxins in the can. We don't want that in our food. Now, some organic roasted diced tomatoes together with the okra, which by the way, has a lot of folic acid or vitamin B9, which helps to prevent neurologic birth defects. This recipe is good for everyone, but particularly good for diabetics who are watching their blood sugar and their belly fat because it has a low glycemic load. It raises your blood sugar slowly and gently. Just beginning to come to a boil. Shrimp go right on top. I already have one done. Ooh, is that marvelous. Now, gumbo gets even better when you top it. This is a little brown rice. Instead of making it the center of the dish, it's a garnish. So you don't get a lot of extra carbs when you don't really need them. A little bit of parsley. And of course, what would gumbo be without a little bit of hot sauce? Does that look good or what? It's my spicy Creole gumbo with shrimp and brown rice. So good and so good for you. For the complete recipe, check out our website. And remember, the fountain of youth starts in the kitchen. Chatani, may you live 100 years. For Chef MD, I'm Dr. John LaPuma. Learn more about culinary medicine today. Order Chef MD's Big Book of Culinary Medicine at chefmd.com and sign up for free weekly recipe emails while you're there. That's Health Corner for today. Our special thanks to Marlo Thomas and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and also thank you to Nebraska Medical Center for their amazing story on donor swapping. And thanks to all of you at home for watching America's Healthiest TV Show. We'll be back next week. Until then, I'm Joan London. Take care. Next week on Health Corner. She eventually succumbed to high blood pressure. She had a stroke and she went just like that. Cicely Tyson talks about a silent killer and how it changed her life. And what does it really take to recover from a devastating stroke? This man has been there and he is sharing his remarkable recovery. I've got a hearty vegetable lasagna packed with nutrition and flavor on Chef MD. Health Corner is a sponsored program brought to you by Walgreens.